So, these are the three boxes that I'm getting ready to send out. This is called a pillow box, this is a retail hanger box, and then this is a golf ball sleeve box. When you receive them, they're gonna be exactly like this. I'm just gonna show you very quickly how they go together. I'm gonna to do this one completely, and then I'm just gonna show you basics on these. So all of them have perforation marks. You can see the little dots. Everywhere you see dots, that is a fold point. So we're gonna go through on this one and do all the folds first. So I'm gonna fold there and there. Give it a nice hard fold. When you do it, fold it really good. Push it down really good. So there. So we're gonna fold it here. This one, when you fold this part, you want to fold it back this way when you're done. That's the direction it needs to be. There. In the flap here. 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 There. And last but not least here. Now, all of these only require being taped in one place. With this one, you can either use a tape gun that has double-sided tape on it, you can use scotch tape folded in half and doubled up, or you can use a glue stick and put glue. But what you're gonna do is from this line up on the back of this piece, you're gonna put your glue or your tape. So I'm gonna go through and I'm gonna put several pieces of double-sided tape on it so that it stays glued or taped. Now, what I'm gonna do is I'm going to fold these two flaps in so that I can take the whole box and start folding it closed. That piece right there, oh, I forgot to fold this. That piece folds there. Once that folds, what I'm gonna do is I am looking to match these two holes up perfectly. Those are your hanger holes. Once I have those matched up, I just press the whole thing together. Now these flaps go in and that folds there. These flaps go in and that folds there. And you've got a retail box that can hang from right there. So very quick and easy. It only has tape on the back of this surface. That's it, that's the only place. Now with the pillow box, same thing. It's gonna fold here and here first, this little lip right here. This one, you don't really need the tape gun. It's easier if you just put the tape on the outside. If you just go through and put tape over this seam and tape it right there. I'm gonna use the tape, ATG, the uh, tape gun now because I want this to go on the inside, but it's not necessary. In fact, I think it actually works better with a regular piece of scotch tape. But this bent flap goes on the inside and I'm just gonna line it up like that done now these flaps just fold in on these seams so I have the cannon on that outside those flaps fold in on those seams and when it's shh, when it's all done it's just a pillow box like this now this one is better if you fold these before you actually build the box it's better if you do that like that, but when it's all, because it'll fold and stay folded better. But when it's all done, that's the way it should look. And these can go either way. It looks kind of like a McDonald's uh, apple pie box when you're done, and it's really great for gift cards and things like that. All right, last but not least, the golf box. It has a little window. When you get them, the window should already be popped out. But the same thing, all of them have little fold dots. So you're gonna fold on all the little dots. You'll see lines like that that are gonna fold together. Fold carefully on the one above the window. Got fold slots there. This one actually tore, that's why I'm using this one as a, a sample. Fold that there, fold that there. Then we're gonna go through in each of these seams, fold in there, fold in there. And again, I'm not, gonna, I'm not gonna actually tape this one. I'm just gonna show you where it tapes. This one, again, just takes one single piece of scotch tape. When it's all done, 
You basically take, and you can put this on the inside or the outside. It looks better if it's on the inside. If you go through and put a piece of scotch tape basically from there to there, covering that seam right there. So it's gonna go together, tape from there to there. If I was to use a tape gun, I would tape on this seam right here, do, 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 like that. I can go through, line up that line. If I don't get it exactly right, I can move it a little bit. There and there. And then the flaps go in. When it's done, it just is a golf ball box to hold three golf balls. And all of these are printed on Canon Semi-Gloss 280 number two. When you're done, you end up with a box like that, a box like that, and a box like that. Those are the samples that you're all going to be getting. Hopefully that helps you. That's it.